I'm back. Okay, here's the video how to improve your digital handwriting. So, I've been getting a lot of questions on how do I write with a placing my palms on my screen? How do I write with a palm rejection? How do I write with an you know, active stylus? How do I do that? How 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 do I my handwriting is good? Can you teach me please and all that thing. So, here's the video. Here's the tips. Here's the tutorial. Stay tuned. So I hope this video helps and this is a short, simple, yet still detailed explaining video. So yeah. So first we're gonna list out all the tips. But before that I just wanna say I use non active stylus that has metal name. You can watch my review video about the stylus that I use and also I use paper screen protector yeah first of all is paper templates and this will help as your guidance if not you can watch my tutorial video review about my Tamoji not light okay so this is how you change the template so we're gonna go with lines we didn't try right with lines and even show you how these templates can help you in getting more cleaner cleaner and neater handwriting so why is it better to have a uh, something like grid or lines not a plain paper to write because those lines can guide you it makes your handwriting your writing to be more aligned it is just like writing on physical book physical paper writing online page is easier compared to writing on plain white and my personal favorite as a page template is grid paper because it's helped me a lot. I prefer grid paper compared to single line paper. And here on Meta Machine Outlet, you can have single lined, you can have um, grid lined, you can have dotted lined and many more you also can change the color background of your page so i really love metamoji not light and i think you should try it because it is a free app that you can get directly from google play store even though yes it is an old app but and the last year it was updated was like 2016 or something but I, it's it is still good really really good for a free app okay and that is for the first tip paper template the second tip second ways of improving your handwriting is by zooming in and this applies to people that use non-active stylists like me you can see here it is hard to write when it is like zoom out so what you need to do is zoom in and it will be easier for you to control your handwriting and yes this usually applies to people that have non-active stylus but i think if it's active stylus it won't be an issue so yeah just zoom into your page and write see the difference between zooming out and zooming in and you can see the difference that your handwriting gets better and I think this is the main key of writing digitally neater and cleaner especially for those that didn't have active stylus or have a device that didn't support active stylus so moving on to the third tips is pens for writing 
When I say pencil writing, I didn't mean stylus. What I mean is the brush that you use in your digital note taking app. And for my dimensional light, there isn't much variation of pens that you can use. So yeah, we're gonna alter the size. I'm gonna show you how the thickness of your pen affect your handwriting. Okay, and which sizes should you go for? So this is the different thickness six and two, and you can see the pegs different already now. Okay, so oh my god, so the key is of low thickness for small handwriting and higher thickness for big handwriting so if you want to write something big go for big thickness if you want to go for if you want to write something small go for low thickness yeah as simple as that okay, now the fourth tip so writing pad this actually not always available on all digital note taking app but it is available on meta margin light so yeah this writing tab is the alternative if you want to write without zooming in you can use writing pad so you can just zoom out and just and just have the writing pad zoom you so you don't have to zoom in yourself so it is easy so I'm gonna do some uh, long writing here and you're gonna see how easy it is and how much the writing pad actually help in your digital writing yes as we said before we need to zoom in your writing on non active stylus because that helps a lot and having this writing pad makes things easier for us So this is how they look like, okay? So no zooming in, just use the writing pad. Now we're gonna move on with the extra tips on holding your stylus. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that um, the way you hold your stylus affect your handwriting. It is just the same way with physical handwriting, the way you hold your pencil or your pen affects a lot your influence, your handwriting and that is just how it is so I'm going to show you the wrong way and the correct way of holding your stylus okay so first the wrong way to hold your stylus is by holding your stylus with your fingers near the tip Okay, and it makes things to be difficult to control and the correct way is to hold it a, a bit far away from the tip so you can control your hands and your handwriting e easier and also don't hold your stylus way too hard like too stiff don't stiffen your hands because it will be hard to control so hold it loose, loosely, like don't not too stiff, just loose, and a bit far from the tip, and there you go. Just treat the stylus as gentle as possible. So yes, that's all for the video. I hope the tips help and the extra tips also help. I hope this whole video just helps you a lot. And thank you so much for your two point plus.
plus plus k subscribers i will see you again on the next video thank you for watching